all, back to recording. So hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new reaction video and the people have spoken. So many of you uh, requested me to check out this guy named Errol Spencer Jr. Uh, under the Terrence Bud Crawford video. So many of you guys said that now I need to check this guy out. So I will do it right away. I'm not gonna ramble. Let's get straight into this video. All right, let's see what this guy is all about. Earl Spencer Jr. I mean, who, who doesn't lo love knockouts? That's that's the you know the, the ultimate way to win in boxing. But he's patient, setting yes. up the first round with a solid jab. Now he can land some power oh, shots like that. Left hand. Oh. Earl Spence oh, Jr. Shook his soul and hit okay, Van Hitt. Hitt wants to wiggle out of it. They call him the truth. He's lived up to the name. Turn it down a little bit. I see. All right, I cannot miss a single second here. Mm. And you know what? That's enough. Alan Hudgens stops the fight. Now it's a million dollar smile, and he's going to be in multi million dollar fights in his future. What was that? Do you remember the moment where you first really, really hit oh. a guy? Hit a guy and knocked him out. And he's, he was saying that he can't, he couldn't move his legs. Whoa! As an amateur, he won the Golden Gloves. As well as three straight national welterweight titles. That's scary. He, just he became him. known like... as the Body Snatcher. Oh, God. The body snatcher? He turned started. pro at age 22. His professional debut, you see his amateur record. He was probably 22 in the first couple. No doubt, Barry. This is yeah. a, a three-time U.S. national amateur champion, and he's only 22 years old. Never mind. A southpaw with a knack for inflicting early damage, then pouncing and putting his opponents down in the opening rounds. Nice uppercut slipped in by Spence and another one. Oh, he's weak, he's done. Oh, you can see him. down. Three, four, five. Errol Spence Jr., he's undefeated, he's one and oh, but he's undefeated. He possessed that rare combination of knockout power in the hands of a high IQ boxing tactician. Here is the true Errol. Oh, like, that's not Errol. <laughs> Jr. I don't know that one. She had a <laughs> And we are off. His highlight style what finishing happened, moves Errol? made him an immediate star. Whoa! Three big shots to the body after that yeah. one. Now, Oscar that's hard. He kept trying to come forward. The problem was he what came forward and kept camera. running at the punches. After that, he went on a tear Round through one? the division. Benito? Yeah, he's on a different level. They are not equal. Oh my god. Spence built himself up one fight at a time. Knockout after knockout. A number of people thought Errol Spence the future of the welterweight division. That's a lot of a lot of see you. He's being selected by many, projected to be a top uh, pound for pound best. Because there's so many talented people, there's so many athletic people, but to be a champion, you need everything. You need gifts, you need athletic gifts, you need a sharp mind. You need a, a passion for the technical aspects of the game. Getting into boxing, how did that come about? How about oh, he was born. My dad got me into boxing. Errol's father was a tremendous influence on him. Mm. Standing by... I keep saying it. It's so important. Like, it's golden if you have parents or a parent. Just anyone. Junior, every right step path, of the like, journey. It's golden. A journey Respect that began in a small gym in Texas. You don't have that work ethic? You never keep it going. You always fall short of your expectations. And saw Errol Spence Jr. transform himself into an Olympian. 
Harrell has credited the Olympic experience with preparing him for the pressure of fighting under the bright lights. You talk to the, uh, the other Olympians, they all tell you he's the hardest worker on the team and there's a very, very big upside with our good head on his shoulders. He got the right direction and discipline from the start. It's not when guaranteed, games, he but to the, uh, to the third round of the Olympics. Oh, Errol Spence is probably the best pro-ready style prospect out of this bunch. I like the way he, you know, he's aggressive. He sits on his punches. He's he's determined, too. Like. Errol Spence Jr. is the best of all the American Olympians to turn professional after the last Olympic Games. This will be in the welterweight division. Cordova trying to figure out a way to keep Spence off. His run of dominance continued. Spencer's now cutting the distance a bit faster, a bit quicker. Like that. Shot right there. Back to back. back. As he climbed the ranks. Oh, was a great left hand. And it put a loose right on his back. And Rafael Methodically Ramos destroying each rung of the ladder that separated him from his title. Can I duck it? Earl Spence Jr. Seventh time he's knocked out his opponent in the first round. This kicked off a run of 11 straight knockouts. That Does he get the challenge get, uh, that he... When you knock him down, when you knock him out. It's addictive, is it not? Six members of the 2012 U.S. Olympic boxing team were pulled as who they thought was the hardest worker, most That's talented, not, most likely to go furthest as a pro. All six said Earl Spence Jr. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You've been the most talked about talent in boxing. It has just been a methodical job here by Errol Spence. Because we know his offense is great, but he is not that easy to hit. He's not that easy to hurt. This is the equivalent of a 30-second timeout. Right. I'm observing. Combination. It's, you guys see? And I'm going to finish off. Bird needs to see. And finally, he's seen enough. Errol Spence Jr. Samuel Vargas had never been stopped in his career. We're going to see the Olympian but. who is undefeated in Errol the Truth Spence Jr. Until he ran into Errol Spence Jr. Don't spoil it. When you hit guys, it sounds like you're hitting a bag. There's a thud. And there it is. Vargas goes to the canvas. Six. Knocked down for Spence. Seven here in round two. Spence again. 15 wins, no losses. 12 by way of knockout. Another win by knockout. Oh, no, 13 on. knockout victories up. in 16 wins. Undefeated with 13 knockouts in 16 pro fights. Another fighter who had never been stopped before. He, I saw the Jamaican facing friend. Spence. Again. A man who has uh, come up with seven of his 16 knockouts in the first round. Only two of his bouts have lasted beyond round five. And a lot of people are saying, okay, this is the fight where we're going to see if Errol Spence is really. The truth. And now going to the head successfully and then back to the body. Watching a young guy like Earl Spence right now fight, man, I think he's one of the best, the best up and coming fighters. Oh, 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 oh. Spence capped off his 2015 by fighting for the fourth time that year. Barrera rocked Spence with an uppercut in the first round, setting oh. off a back and forth war. What's your own? No, sorry. Are Spence you shook it off Spence? immediately. Then oh. he proceeded to Quickness. beat Barrera senseless. And it's just Spence stalking. It's like the predator closing in on his prey. Low. Oh, 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 oh. 
Pereira had that. I gotta be. I got goosebumps in my legs. Here in the headlines, look. Come on. And Errol Spence Jr. with an impressive stoppage. Against Chris Algieri, the, the Spence like hype train was meant to come to a screeching halt. Do you think that this is the fight that announces Errol Spence, not just to the boxing world, but to the, to the world? This is a star. And Errol Spence facing his first former champ, his biggest fight ever. He told us that. Algieri was a rugged and seasoned warrior of the ring. A true test to the unbeaten truth. He's not able to find Errol too much in this first round. Oh, nice! Nice! Errol Spence has knocked down Algeria here in the fourth. chance to take the number one welterweight ranking, forcing a mandatory match against champion Kel Brook. The last obstacle to Spence's dream. And down goes Bundu. That is not a knockdown. Look Errol Spence smile. is looking to close out Leonard Bundu. This is the Errol Spence show, but Bundu is a wounded animal. And he drops Bundu, and this one could be over. And this one is over as Errol That's Spence scary. is now the mandatory number one to his welterweight championship. We now the you. number one challenger, Spence would get a shot at his first world title. Errol Spence going to England against a proven welterweight champion like Kell Brook. Paul, you, you know Kell Brook was one of the bigger, stronger welterweights, and he's even <laughs> had problems even staying at 147. <laughs> Welterweight champion of the world. It's the litmus test for Errol Spence Jr., the cool cat with the oozing confidence. So some really good punches landed already. From trying to drag Spence into a close, personal, hard fight. I know his dad watching. Like I did that. Showed a lot of toughness in that fight. <laughs> Kel Brook was undefeated as a welterweight. That was a genuine challenge. Kel Brook is an excellent fighter. Right hand for Brook. Looking strong here. Brook really dominating for me in that round, looking really well. I think it's very close. Spence showed in that fight is that he is something special. Because the first six rounds of that fight were very even. Oh, good Spence shot for Errol Spence Jr. there. Really applying the pressure now. Big left hook from Errol Spence Jr. Much to the dismay of English fans, Spence put Brook down and captured his first world title. Now, oh, the build up to it. Oh, he's done. 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 Oh, my God. Yeah, he's heard that eye's playing with trouble. The eye. I think he's gonna send it out. Come on, he's done, friend. It is all over. And Errol Spence Jr. <laughs> he's going the crazy. Star State is a new star of world boxing. Congratulations. Oh. Taking a break to a guy who might have been the best welterweight in the world and really cementing himself as a welterweight champion. Tonight, making the first defense of his title, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the reigning, the defending, and the undefeated like IBF welterweight champion of the world, the true Errol 
Spence Jr. In his first title defense, he made Lamont Peterson quit between rounds. Ooh, nice! Oh! There's not another welterweight in the world to this point who proves he can stand in that kitchen and take that heat. And you can see At that was a tough, seven. tough decision for Barry Hunter. He won in the dark there. And especially when they're like, you know, have more experience and stuff. And then, At the you know, Dallas Cowboys Fort Center, Spence wanted to make a statement in front of his home crowd. Back in America. Making the second title defense against undefeated mandatory challenger Carlos Frisco, Ford Center, Errol Spence. It's one thing to win the moment. It's another thing to grab it. Mm. Grab the pack house. Mm -hmm. Everybody at his intense moment at the beginning of the fight, and he closes it down. was an undefeated four division world champion wow. a true wow. super fight and massive chapter for both fighters legacies the current lightweight champion of the world ladies and gentlemen he he is the undefeated he and distinguished four division champion of the world introducing mikey garcia Two top pound-for-pound -pound warriors in front of 50,000 screaming fans. Oh, left hook, Spence connecting. Let's go with the lefty. Shout out to the lefty. Uh, Arrow still using that jab to score points. Oh. And clearly, this is Spence's fight. He's in control. He's dominant so far. The outcome was never in doubt. Spence imposed his will and won seemingly every round of the contest. There you go. Two undefeated champions go the distance. On the all or no, the truth, Arrows. A unanimous decision. Against Sean Porter, Spence set aim at unifying the titles on a mission to solidify his claim to the throne atop the welterweight division. Live from Los Angeles, it's time for the main event of the evening. Showtime! Show Spence Ready? unbeaten 25 and 0 quarter at 32 and 1. Away we go. The two fighters engaged in a spellbinding war. Seesawing back and forth. He started out very early in round four. Better save some energy though. Oh, he gave some hits, but he's taking them. Ah, there you go. The counter. Oh, oh caught him with a left. It's Spence. The knockdown said, no, would be the didn't. difference maker the on the scorecards. Spence said that's what he wanted to do. He will drop Sean Porter. Errol Spence Jr. and Sean Porter go the distance. 
He was now the WBC and <laughs> IDF Unified okay. Welterweight Champion. Okay. Errol Spence was on top of the world. A violent crash overnight as a Ferrari flipped on a Dallas street. In that car was Errol Spence Jr. A car crash threatened everything. Wait, what? Oh my God, I got so much goosebumps. And can the video of that crash makes it look unsurvivable? Wait, what? Spence was miraculously alive. Spence oh survived the crash, but is in rough shape at a Dallas hospital right now. But questions about his boxing future swirled. Oh my God. Whoa, I did not expect this. In his return against Danny Garcia, Spence silenced the skeptics. Teddy, before the fight, you said you were most interested to see like, which Spence would show so up strong. after that How devastating car crash 14 months ago. But Errol Spence does not he remember that car accident like where he was life. thrown from his Ferrari. He spent two weeks in the hospital. Good he does not remember being in the hospital. Crazy. Introducing the truth, Errol Spence Jr. This is that with him, they call him the truth. Yeah. Since arriving on the pro boxing scene, he's lived up to the name, delivering hard doses of truth with every devastating shot landed. This is the first the truth that his opponents simply aren't in his class. He's just ripping these shots. He's putting everything behind it. He looks like he's just starting <laughs> to get more warmed up. The truth that he is the present and the future. I'm just saying, listen, Spence one really outlands his opponents. It's crazy IQ. The truth is on a collision course with history. At 27 and 0, legacy and glory are there for his taking. And still, the undefeated unified WBC. So tomorrow night, it's the sensational Errol Spence against Jordanis Ugas, who's coming off retiring Manny Pacquiao. Ugas' boxing skills are obvious, but He's in addition to everything man. else, and I talked about He's fast twitchies soon. earlier, Spence has those. He has the power, the southpaw skill. Errol young. Spence Jr. versus Jordanis Ugas for the Unified Welterweight Championship of the World. Yeah, one of the top pound-for-pound -pound boxers in the world, undefeated Errol Spence Jr. He's the WBC and IBF welterweight champ returning to the ring after a 16-month layoff. This is the most active and aggressive we've seen Errol Spence in some left uppercut, right hook, and again, Errol Spence with some Whoa. sweet combinations. After a vicious back and forth. Sean Porter, oh, big right hand. And Spence is hurt. Spence, Spence is hurt. Oh. Whoa. I don't know if he was doubled or off balance or what, but my goodness, what a sequence. Spence closed it out. And an uppercut. Ugas is hurt. Ugas is hurt. Ugas is hurt. Ugas is hurt. Spence going on the attack. This would be the biggest win in the career of Errol Spence. He fractured Ugas's orbital bone, oh and the fight God. was ended. Oh my Errol Spence. Look at him. And he tried to convince him that he's good. You're not good. He's like, I can keep going. I'm good. No, you're not. Junior. Jesus Not only closes the eye of your Denny Zugas, but closes the show with a clinical effort here tonight. I'm guessing that's family. He indeed is one of the best boxers on planet Earth. After years of back and forth, the boxing world awaits the super fight of our era. Errol Spence versus Bud Crawford. Hey! Oh, have they fought? That's what you guys wanted me to. Oh, why? Oh, it even says it's a hype for Bud Crawford match, but I don't know how old this documentary is. Oh, my God. They got to end it like that? Sheesh. No, nah, this was exciting, you guys. Oh my god, the truth. Amazing. Wow. Uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you watching. Bye.